Hey folks, Bishop Drennan here, uh, getting ready to get a package out of the van here. I just came from the church and they uh, uh, they called me and told me I need to come up there and pick up a pretty good sized package, which I knew what it was and I'm kind of excited. Uh, and I thought I'd share a little bit of this with you guys as uh, as this all develops. A few weeks ago I bought the uh, Hammond XK1 uh, clone wheel keyboard organ uh, and I'm just really enjoying it. I'm, I'm loving it. We've got the uh, uh, B3 up at the church uh, and I've, I've liked it. Uh, really there's nothing like playing the real thing but this uh, XK1 gives me some portability and, uh, and also provides me with a great ham and sound but at the same time uh, I, I wanted a pedal board. That's the one thing that was missing. So I got on eBay and I found a uh, pedal board from an old H112 Hammond, uh, which is the same pedals as uh, as you'd find on the uh, B3, C3, uh, the 25 note pedal board. And I'm going to, uh, with the help of a MIDI encoder from uh, Sound Research, uh, I'm going to build a set of MIDI uh, pedals, uh, pedal board and uh, I'll keep you posted on my progress. Uh, so this is the start of it. The pedal board has come and it looks pretty good and I'll keep you up to date on uh, what we do with it. Okay folks, I got this pedal board out here on the back porch. I'm going to do a little work to it. Uh, first thing that I'm going to do to get it ready to turn it into a uh, MIDI uh, pedal board is uh, I'm going to take the back plate on it and begin to remove uh, the pedals uh, so I can get in and uh, with easily access these uh, little uh, tabs here. They're, these are used in the Hammond organ. Uh, they press a little switch down inside of the uh, uh, connector box. And uh, I'm going to take these off because what I'm going to use is a simple uh, tactile on and off switch, uh, momentary switch that's going to mount on a plate underneath the, each pedal. Uh, and so anyhow, so that's going to be the first order of business is to take the back plate off and uh, then take each of these uh, contact, uh, little, little contact springs uh, off of the tips or the toes uh, of these. Uh, okay, here's the uh, pedal board with the uh, back plate off. And... Uh, I'm going to take these pedals loose uh, just by removing uh, uh, the one bolt in the back. Okay, I just wanted to kind of show you, I've got uh, the tips off of uh, the first section of these pedals. Uh, let me see if I can get these over here. That's uh, these things, just unscrewed them. Put the screws back in the pedal tips so they uh, wouldn't ride up too high. And uh, this is uh, the back box of the uh, pedals. And uh, here's the next section of pedals. I'm going to clean them up and uh, take the tips off of them, then put them back in. They're kind of dusty, so a little lemon pledge to them some good. Okay, here's the pedal board. It's uh, Hill sections all put back together, and all of the uh, toe springs have uh, contact springs have been removed. All 25 of them laying in a pile here on the table on the deck. Uh, so the next thing to do will be to begin to build an enclosure uh, for the uh, toe section of the uh, pedal board, where the uh, MIDI encoder is going to go, and where all the electronics is going to be housed. So I'll keep you posted on that as I make progress. Okay, I had some uh, leftover pieces of laminate flooring, uh, and they have served to be the box I built that's going to uh, uh, for the uh, pedal board, and, and uh, which the front of the pedal board is going to attach to. So uh, I'm not a very good carpenter. I'm kind of jack leg carpenter. But anyhow, this is... Uh, this is what the box looks like, and uh, it'll just uh, the front of the pedal board will just connect in there, and that'll hold all the electronics, the uh, contacts, and the uh, MIDI encoder. Okay, what I'm doing now is gluing these little tack switches 
into the uh, box where the uh, toe of the organ is going to uh, be mounted. And uh, these switches are just little contact switches. They're momentary switches, 5 millimeter. I got them at Radio Shack, a little back four in a bag for like four bucks. And uh, I'll wire these up. I've got them glued in with hot glue. And uh, this is go these are going to trigger uh, the uh, MIDI encoder board. Uh, so anyhow, this is uh, very simple. Normally opened, the pedal pushes it be closed and trigger the uh, MIDI encoder board to uh, uh, produce our sound. Here's the uh, little box that I built for the toe uh, section of the pedal board to go in. And uh, as you can see, I've got the MIDI encoder uh, installed in here as well as the wiring. All I did was use uh, just regular uh, telephone uh, wire. I took. Uh, a spool of telephone cable from Radio Shack and stripped some wire out of it and uh, used it to wire this in. Now this encoder uh, is only a 13 uh, note encoder so I've only got 13 contacts but it's a 25 pedal, uh, 25 note pedal board. Uh, this encoder actually came out of a portable 13 note pedal board that I bought uh, eight or ten years ago from a guy on eBay that was building them. It had uh, little uh, spinet organ pedals in it from a, uh, uh, I guess an Allen or a Con or something like that. And I always felt real uncomfortable with them. I am going to order a 25-note uh, pedal board from uh, Sound Resources. Uh, I've got the email into them right now. As soon as I hear back from them, I'm going to... Uh, uh, order from them. Here's the old pedal board uh, that that uh, encoder came out of. Uh, so I just took it out of there, uh, put it over here, and we're going to get ready to put the uh, pedal board in this box and uh, try her out here in just a little bit. Well, here they are attached back into the box. All the wiring's hooked up. I did have to move one of my uh, little triggers down there, uh, the little switches uh, for somehow I got it off a little as a matter of fact it was the C uh, right here uh, but everything seems to be making contact I've checked with the gnome meter uh, everything's uh, making contact up at the uh, encoder and so uh, I'm going to put the lid on the box and take it uh, in the studio and uh, plug it up and see if it makes any sound